to my fellow UMBC community members. Earlier today, the United States Department of Justice, or DOJ, released the findings of its three-year investigation into the university's Title IX program. The investigation focused primarily on sex discrimination and misconduct that occurred under the former head coach of UMBC's swimming and diving team from 2015 through 2020. It revealed not only despicable actions by one individual, but profound failures in the university's response during that period. As the DOJ said in its report, these students deserved better. Let me be very clear. We take full responsibility for what happened, and I am committed to addressing these failures through our words and actions. I am also committed to the monumental task of rebuilding our community's trust. I encourage all of you to read the report if you are able. It is difficult to take in, but it is important to understand and acknowledge the fullness of what happened so that we can start the process of healing and change the culture so that this never happens again. To those who were harmed, I am deeply sorry. I am immensely grateful for your courage and strength in speaking out. I know it was not easy and this community owes you a debt of gratitude. I want to speak for a moment about the timing of this announcement. We did not want to share this information while so many of you are away on spring break. The DOJ chose to release the findings this week and we are cooperating with its process as we have throughout the investigation. An agreement with DOJ will be signed and shared publicly in the coming days, outlining critical changes in the way the university responds to reports of sexual misconduct and discrimination. This work is already underway. Soon after I arrived at UMBC in August of 2022, we began a series of actions across the university to strengthen leadership and accountability and transform our policies and practices to ensure students' safety. Those include mandatory Title IX training for all students, training for faculty and staff, and thorough review of our Title IX policies and procedures and outreach to students and staff who needed support and resources. Those were important first steps, and the measures outlined in the coming agreement with the DOJ will advance this work. But there is much more to do. To anyone who has experienced misconduct at UMBC I implore you, please speak up and report it to our Office of Equity and Civil Rights by either submitting an online report, emailing ecr at umbc.edu or calling 410-455-1717. We will investigate all reports confidentially and thoroughly. To anyone in need of support during this difficult time, students, staff, or faculty, please reach out for help by calling the Retriever Support Line at 410-455-3167 or emailing retriversupport at umbc.edu. 
going forward, we will and we must hold ourselves to the highest standards of care, safety, integrity, and accountability. Nothing is more important than the well-being of our students. We will never lose sight of that again. You have my word. Thank you for listening and thank you for caring for this beloved community.